हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द वीडियो ऑफ लीगल स्टडीज क्लास ट्वेल्व यूनिट सेकंड एंड द टॉपिक दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट इज लॉ ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड अंडर लॉ ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो अंडर दिस हेडिंग वी हैव मोड ऑफ डिस्चार्ज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट इज by agreement or consent the second one remember by agreement or consent okay now what is meaning of by agreement or consent now let's have the brief of this term and then we will discuss agreement or consent that is in reference to discharging the contract it means something like apart from the performance being the parties of the contract you have the right or freedom to discharge the contract even at the middle of the performance okay or in the beginning or any time any point in time depending upon both of you because it has to be done with mutual understanding otherwise it won't come under this mode there are di different modes so then that will go in different mode but in this mode both the parties need to be agreed on certain point then contract can be discharged law won't do anything because the party who supposed to claim he or she is agreed to discharge okay so that is discharge of contract by agreement or consent now there are certain modes to discharge contract by agreement or consent what are those modes that is novation rescission alteration remission waiver merger okay don't worry we will discuss all these terms individually and separately in brief first let's check out the meaning of discharge of contract by agreement or consent technically though we have understood general meaning okay when both the parties with their free consent focus on when both the parties with their free consent discharge the contract by any other means is known as discharge of contract by agreement or consent see what you need to focus on both the parties with consent and other than that is other than means that is performance that we have already discussed is known as discharge of contract by agreement or consent okay so understood now let's check out what are the modes of discharge of contract by agreement or consent the first one is novation novation as the term appears the english meaning that is something new talking about something new okay so see here meaning is same as defined under section 62 of indian contract act the parties to a contract agree to substitute a new contract for it or to resign or alter in the original contract need not be performed simple you with your friend made a contract okay that you will start certain business say you will start the business of selling some spices okay so that is the contract you agreed upon after certain time both of you just thought something there is no much benefit in the business of spices so why not to start the business of property dealing kind of thing okay so both of you now agree to leave that business and start something new so in this case this is novation kind of thing that you both of you agreed not to perform the first one and start doing something new so in this case that contract will be discharged through novation and the new contract is made okay it is also known as doctrine of novation as parties are agreed to substitute the existing contract with a new contract 
For example, A owes money to B under a contract. It is agreed between A, B and C that B shall thenceforth accept C as his debtor instead of A. The old debt of A to B is at an end and a new debt from C to B has been contracted. So this is another example. Okay. So you understand this like that if something new is substituted instead of at the place of the existing one then it is known as discharge of contract through novation. The second one is rescission. What does it mean that when both the parties are agreed to cancel some terms or even all the terms of the agreement. This is the simple meaning that both of you as again take that example of the spice business. In the first case what I said you start doing something new that is property business instead of spice business. But according to rescission both of you agreed not to start anything new. Rather both of you are agreed to wind up that contract, that business and that's all. Both of you agreed whatever the things you did both of you take the responsibilities together and no issue on that account. So by that mode the contract can be discharged, decision remember. The next one is by alteration. What does it mean that when both the parties willing alter or modifies the terms of the agreement. Again, take the example of the first case that is both of you start the business of spices. Okay. In the first case, what happened? What you did? You left that and start something new. That is novation. In the second case, what you did? You altogether terminated the business or wind up the business. So that is decision. And in alteration case, what you do? You alter something or you add up something, whatever. What you say, what both of you contracted again through alteration that along with the spices business, you also want to do something like fruits business. So a spices plus fruit, you adding something, altering something, okay? Or you just curtail some spices business, adding something. So any such kind of thing, if you want to alter your contract with mutual agreement that is possible and that is valid under the law and that is known as alteration. Okay. The next one is by remission. What does it mean that as section 62 states that if the parties to a contract agree to substitute a new contract for it or to resign or alter it, the original contract need not to be performed. Okay, That is remission. That including the so many points. So let's check it out with an example. A owes money to B under a contract. It is agreed between A, B and C that B shall thenceforth accept C as his debtor instead of A. Okay, The old debt of A to B is at end and a new debt from C to B has been contracted. So the first one that is remitted and the fresh one started. It might be confusing be between the, the previous one and this one. Okay. But since it is including some other points as well, those are the exclusive one. This is with certain other points as well. So let's check out another example. That is A owes B. 10,000 rupees. A enters into an arrangement with B and gives B a mortgage of his A's estate for 5,000 rupees in place of the debt of 10,000 rupees. This is a new contract and extinguishes the old. Okay, fine. If both the parties, see what is happening here, the, the thing that you need to focus on, what is happening that as per this example, A owes 10,000 rupees of B. Okay, and A is unable to pay that amount. Think like this. However, A has the property that is worth of 5,000. What B says, 
or both of them agreed that you give me this property and this contract will be over. So your liability of paying the 10,000 rupees that will be over only by paying the 5,000 rupees and that is not the rupees rather that property for the 5,000. So the contract will be over. So that is again possible through the remission. The next one is by waiver. What does it mean that when both the parties willingly abandon their mutual obligations and rights? So it is saying that being the parties of the contract, you have the exclusive right to abandon that. Okay. But for that, your partner, I mean other party, should also give the free consent. So with the mutual consent, you can abandon or discharge the contract by discharging the obligations and rights. Last one is merger. What does it mean that when both the parties willingly merge certain terms and conditions or even all the terms and conditions of contract into another contract? Well, it is something like not much different from the novation. Novation in that case, a fresh contract is created. But in merger, what is happening that well, of course, we have discussed something in alteration as well. But what is happening that here a contract is that is created later on once both of you are at the middle of the first contract and you created something new contract. So with the free consent, with the mutual agreement, you can merge the first contract with the second contract. In this case, what will happen? The first contract will discharged and this will continue. The second one will continue. Okay. If you want to understand it with an example that you started business of again spices. Okay. And what you did, you have your separate business before making the agreement with your partner of starting the business of spices, you already into a business that is of say clothing business. So what you did later on with the mutual agreement, you merged your personal business with that business. Okay. And in this case, in this merger, the first contract will be discharged and the second will start with the new and fresh terms and conditions. Okay, that depending upon both the parties. So that is merger. So this is all about the discharge of contract by agreement or consent.